Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chasm Not Alpha Let's Play. With me Penta Hybrid. Oh, it's the garden! This place was locked off. This lot is carved into the wall. This place was actually, I've never been here before. This place was locked off. Uh, what? Okay, this is actually just too cool. We can't go here yet. There's so many things in the mines we haven't explored. In fact, we just entered the gardens, which is an area I've never been before, before we even saw the catacombs. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna venture back. We're gonna try and see if we can find some, some power-ups, some upgrades and such. Possibly get a Sastus again, hopefully, maybe. Fortunately, I get healed every time I go back to a save point. Like, that was one of the things I didn't really care for in the Alpha was that, you know, instead of being, them being save points, they were just like rest stops that you could level your character up instead of like save points, yeah. I like the idea of having a save point. I like the idea of leveling up automatically. I do, however, wish that you could change your stats yourself. Maybe you can, and I'm just not figuring it out yet, but... And those are just, like, default stat upgrades, but... Either way, I'm more than happy with the game as it, in its current state, so... Uh... For those of the people out there who don't believe, like... Oh, he's just... He's just... Well, I'm... 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 I have to say this. Uh, if you want to play this game... You should have backed it, and I know that's a stupid, kind of a dick move thing to say, but it's kind of the truth, because if you didn't back it, you're not going to be able to play it, and that's the harsh truth of things. One of my buddies at work really wants to play this, but unfortunately, he missed out on the Kickstarter. He thought about kickstarting it, he thought about doing it, he wanted to do it, but he didn't end up doing it, and so now he has to wait until the full release of the game. Oh, yes! What is it? Oh, is that the magic dagger thingy? <gasps> magic knife! Oh, yes, I knew it! I knew it as soon as I saw it. And I don't have slide yet, so... Oh, that was awful. I ended up getting all the way down to the bottom. How unfortunate for... <laughs> Such a sad human being. What a waste. A hollow shell of life. I don't know what impression that was. I have no idea. Scoo oh, I can't reuse the altars. I'm about to level up again. Level up again sounds kind of like snuffle up, I guess. Level up again. More money. Ooh, these guys don't have any knockback. I like that. I'm not a fan of knockback. I'll say it. Next level, 23 experience to level up again. 
have so much money. How much experience do these guys give me? 17... They give me 4. I don't actually know if my stats are really even raising that much. Ooh. Area. <gasps> Get the crate. Money. Let me guess. Yep. Bads and Globs entry one. I have done it! I have finally found evidence of the tribe rumored to live in these mountains thousands of years ago. It may be that these are the ghost raiders mentioned in many texts, ancient texts, but for the purpose of my studies I shall refer to them as the Lidori tribe in respect to the Lidorian mountains in which they once lived. The Lidorians. Or Lidori. Lidori. El Dorito. Save. I like it. I like it a lot. So, we can't go there yet because we don't have the wheel. And I doubt we'll find the wheel in the gardens. So, yes, I was positive. Let's go finish up some of the mines. Does it drain slowly as my health goes down? Let's find out. It totally does! It's awesome. I like it. I like it. 100% like it. Big fan. Big fan right here. That's why I paid for this game. That's why I'm playing it on my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Attacking the wrong way. Like a boss. Ow! Ow! Falling off platforms, not like a boss. Okay, do we... with this way? This is all... this is back up to the thingy, though. I could have thingy. I could have thingy. You have to go to the. Can I? I can't use the teleporter right away, can I? I have to activate it. Yeah. You have to activate it first. Maybe I have to go to the gardens? Or can I buy things? Oh, the lady! Oh my god, the lady. The kitty lady. She might have things. Oh, she has a thing. Lady, talk. I'm always looking to add my trinket collection. I will gladly trade you for something something special for every three trinkets you bring me. I only have one trinket. What, my cup is too good for you? Look at the bottle. How do I... Primitive drinking cup. Molded from a clay surrounding area. Okay, so I can't give it to her. Please let me know if you find anything. I did! Take my cup. Something just exploded out of my guy's head. I don't know what that was. 
I'm sure gonna find out in post though. But something exploded out of my guy's head. Uh, bottle and 50 coins for a weak health potion. Chipped ruby for 250, of course. Magic fireball. Ah, that sounds awesome. Uh, silver ring. Attack plus one. Intelligence plus one. Golden ring. Defense plus one. Constitution plus one. I like that. Magic axe. To bard. Is defense minus one attack and intelligence up? That's a mage thing. A commoner's garments made of rough spun wool. Magic shield. I did like that. Whoa! Plus three constitution, plus three defense. I think we buy the. I think we buy the turban. Yeah, I think we buy the turban. Holy crap, that's awesome. Yeah, we buy the turban. Now, does it change my character's look? I was always curious if it was going to change my character's looks. Oh, they didn't add that in. Okay. You know what? We'll get a potion. Maybe we do have to go to the uh, the gardens first. I don't know. I, I can't exactly speak from experience because everything's different now, so... Can I hit the sign? Nope. Man can dream, though. Man can dream. So, basically, what they're telling me is I have to go all the way back over there. You know, I think we can make it to the next save room without dying. Says the man very overconfidently. As he walks into enemies. <laughs> Uh, by the way, if you haven't been able to tell already, I am indeed playing this with an Xbox controller, just like most of my PC games. Uh, Die Hard Dungeon, I uh, will, whenever I do my next video for that, if you guys enjoy that video and you want it to become a Let's Play at some point, I will be continuing to play that game with an Xbox controller because, well, let me be honest, playing that with the mouse and keyboard is terrible. It's a horrible experience and nobody should do it. That game was clearly meant for the controller support because, well, it's like Zelda. And nobody plays a Zelda game on a keyboard. That's basically just the rules of the universe. sensation in your ear canal like that weird itch but it's not almost an itch and it just feels so weird and also kind of good at the same time when you rub your tongue on part of your mouth and you can feel it in your ear come on game there we go that was strange as shit I have no idea what happened there 
those laggy patches every now and then. I'm feeling those. I'm not liking them, but I'm feeling them. Like I said, this game is out of alpha now. It's not a finished product by any means yet, but it is no longer an alpha. I do feel that it runs a little smoother when it was in alpha than it does now, because this is just actually some points. This like right here, this this artifacty crap. That's just that's just not okay. And my computer can run pretty, pretty pretty solid stuff. I mean, it is just a laptop, but it can run pretty much anything that I own. I mean, I can play Bioshock on my computer, so if it can't run, you know, Chasm, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know where I would go with my brain. Shush phone. I guess we go to the gardens. This is the first time ever though, so I say we enter the gardens We're running a little high where it's like 16 over 16 minutes now I say we enter the gardens we explore a little bit try and find a safe room and then You know call it good go back to the mines. We don't have to be in the gardens at all. We might not actually be allowed to be in the gardens yet. Yeah, we actually have to leave. We get slide right at the beginning of the gardens and then have to leave. That's a real metroidvania for you. And I believe this is actually faster. Kind of like uh, Castlevania Symphony of, the Night, uh, Symphony of the Night. Excuse me. Backdashing is faster than running forward. You know, I'm actually going to call it here. I know it's, uh, it's only 17 minutes, but I'm going to call it here. This is a perfect, perfect stopping point. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, we'll have to find out some way to deal with the, uh, the occasional lag. Uh, you'll either have to deal with it if I can't fix it, or I'll find a way to work around the issue. Maybe email them and let them know that it's still a little patchy in some parts. Uh, which it was an alpha as well. I mean, it's it's not complete, so there's going to be things like that. But uh, it runs pretty fantastic. It's at like or hovering around like 56 frames per second right now, so I'm I'm not mad at all. Um, thank you guys for watching, and until the next part in Chasm, watch more of my videos. Go check out Honey Pop. Go check out uh, Die Hard Dungeon. My other videos, you know, go watch some of my stuff. And if you don't want to do that, then just wait until tomorrow, until the next Chasm video comes up. Catch you later.